Alright guys, welcome to a brand new commentary video. So this one, uh, I'm a little nervous about showing just because I personally haven't watched it in a long time. So this is the first ever coaster parody. So just a little backstory on how parodies got started. So this was made in 2015, July of 2015. Um, and I made them because I was I just felt there was a gap in Coaster Studios like there was something more I could be doing and so I reached out on my Facebook page and I said is there something that you guys would like to see and a person commented and said it would be cool if you did like a movie trailer for a coaster you know make it all dramatic you show different shots of the coaster and so I was thinking okay well that would be cool, but I was not, not sure. Like, I liked the idea. Um, and then I knew that with different movie trailers, they do kind of a voice. So, like, coming soon to such and such a movie theater near you. So I thought, okay, that'd be kind of cool to do to for roller coasters. Um, and then I realized that um, I could make it kind of comical and say kind of what everyone else was thinking because some of these movies aren't that good. Um, obviously, some people point out that that is very similar to what Honest Trailers does. And I was familiar with Honest Trailers and, and Screen Junkies at the time, but I wasn't really um, like an avid follower of them. So that like as much as it's crazy, it was kind of more of a coincidence. But I but I did know that those were popular. So I wanted to do something that kind of make made them different so I had this idea to have these cutaway scenes almost like sketches that you'd see out of like Saturday Night Live or something and so have them cut away so I kind of took a movie trailer and combined it with like sketch comedy because I like doing that kind of thing and writing scripts and so that was kind of how parodies got started and I like to think that they've kind of grown so that now they are very different from honest trailers or something that you'd see out of a sketch comedy scene because they have different cutaways and um, moments where it'd be me talking to the narrator or moments where you break the fourth wall and stuff like that and so um, that was kind of how they got started so Tempesto at Busch Gardens Williamsburg was the, was the first ever parody and I decided to do that because that was when it was brand new and it received a lot of flack when it was announced and people that are big Busch Gardens Williamsburg fanboys were not happy about it at all because it ruined the view of Apollo's Chariot but then they got over it like it's fine there were some people that were would go as far as not calling it a roller coaster but a flat ride because they were just so pissed at it that they were doing that um I didn't really care I was like oh new roller coaster so I decided to parody it because people made fun of it and so I thought well I mean some of these roller coasters are so weird that you just can't help but make fun of it. So I decided to do that, and that's how coaster parodies were born. So I'm going to go ahead and play this. Uh, the parodies were really bad at first, and I'm really glad that they got better over time. I don't know how you guys watched these and liked them. I know that a lot of people called them cringy at first and were not big fans of them. Um, and so I'm glad that you guys have stuck with them, and now they're my most popular segment. So it's kind of cool to see how they've changed over time. So I'm going to go ahead and watch this and try not to die. Ugh. Uh, I don't like it already. It's just the intro. From the park uh. brought you award oh my gosh, the mic is so Jared bad. Griffin. This was before I had a microphone. A Pegnus. That's... He totally so mispronounced it at first. So that was a cool shot. But Dakota didn't know what it was pronounced. What a lame name. It sounds like a pasta sauce that you see in a daytime television commercial. Introducing the new Tempesto. Yeah, this is how the Tempesto lady was born. It's my mom. Yeah. And I don't have time to make fancy meals. Okay, that's funny. That's why I use Bush Gardens' all natural Tempesto. I made this fake label. It kind of looks like marijuana on the front. Fun delicious. fact, the pasta di like tasted fine afterwards, but You want me to eat it? The joke with why it tastes why she's like I don't want to eat is because the coaster Bush is like Gardens okay, is so the thing sauce. is actually okay. It's that delicious. is funny. She broke character so many times because uh that she had that issue of laughing um because of the barfing. But I have this pause because I want to go over some of the stuff that is on screen. 
So it says, ask your doctor to see if Tempesto sauce is right for you. Side effects may include nausea, vomiting, heart attacks, weird dreams, and whiplash, because you get whiplash on it. Order right now to receive a 2% discount. Buy it now for three easy payments of $2 each. Why wouldn't it just be $6? See, it's dumb. So I thought it was funny. That, like... It was the first ever parody scene. I thought it was a decent job, kind of make fun of those infomercials. So I was making fun of movie trailers and commercials at the same time. Um, so, you know, it's uh, pretty good. People like the Tempesto lady. So even today, you know, she's, she's still every once in a while makes an appearance in a video. So, all right, here we go. After spending months constructing it, they announced the coaster so really again. late. So that's what that was referencing. So Although if I ever did a redo of it, I would emphasize that more. Okay, so Dakota is on here because um, he's he's talking to himself because at the time we didn't know what the coaster parody narrator looked like, so it's like, oh, Dakota, I'll just have you say this line because no one knows that that's you because he's doing this deep voice, so then he talks normal and no one knows. With the only difference being the restraint system, enter the cramped cars. These restraints do suck. There's it's so cramped. This whole montage is very accurate. to achieve absolutely nothing. Get ready for a new ride that is smushed into a tiny space so close to another coaster that it will have you wondering why they chose this location. I thought I was riding Apollo Chariot. You can imagine my disappointment. Yeah. From Premier Ride, you know, comes a new uh, with a lot of this, I would have expanded on it. Like, the parody is so short. Like, if I ever redid it, I would, you know, redo a lot of this. Like, make it longer, um, add in different things to expand upon. And then I have this whole montage where there's no narration at all. Ugh, even the audio editing is so bad. You can see where I cut it. Yikes. Ew, what is that different audio sound? Like, when it... Diff <laughs> when it, um... Ugh. Ugh, there's just so many things I would do different. Uh, see, okay, this is why I don't like going back to some of my old videos because I make them I put it out on YouTube and I never watch it ever again. And that's why, because they're so cringy. <laughs> oh man, like it's, it's not bad, but also at the time I was young, I was still learning how to edit and stuff like that. And so it was, you know, for the first era parody, yeah, it was not too bad. I mean, it got, it's a couple good gags in there, but for the most part, I think it left people going, what the heck is that? Like, they're not sure what it is. So, you know, it's fine. I, I mean, it's, I don't think it's anything compared to the parodies that I do now, just because I put so much more time and effort into them. So it's just like vastly different. You can tell that this was made on a whim where I just kind of wrote down a script and uh, didn't do a whole lot of editing. Everything was very casual. Um, even in the audio, you can tell where, um, they were recorded in like two different situations with like two different microphones or, um, different things like that. Even the footage doesn't look as good. So thank goodness for, uh, learning and growth and improvement because, um, I, it's safe to say I've definitely gotten better over time and I'm glad that I was able to start this bit that I do. Um, I'm glad that people supported me through it so that I could learn to make them better. And yeah, we all got to start somewhere. So, and I started things off with the Tempesto parody and, um, yeah, I think it was a good one to start things off, you know? So anyways, that's my, uh, thoughts on the, uh, Tempesto coaster parody. So let me guys know what, uh, you think of this. And of course you can stay tuned for more commentary videos here at Coaster Studios, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.